Welcome, if you've just joined us, to the 13 Moons webinar. I'm Tanishka, your host, and I'll be um, presenting this as a slideshow and opening up for questions at the end of that. So I'd like to just ponder the question, have you ever wondered why these bad things still happen to good people? Or how it is we can find the gift when things turn sour and we're confronted with some of our greatest challenges? Or how it is that we can survive being betrayed by the people that we trust the most? Or when we experience unthinkable failure without becoming hard and bitter? The secret is to learn how to navigate the dark. That's how we become wise and empowered. Now, most people are afraid of the dark. So they do anything to avoid going deep within. So they spend a lot of time socialising, whether that's on social media or in person or working. And this affects our ability to then unwind at the end of the day and go to sleep, go deep within. If we're not getting that time on a regular basis to stop, reflect on our experiences and process the thoughts and emotions that are unresolved. So then when we do experience the darker headspace or the darker emotions, we can beat up on ourselves. We can feel that that's unacceptable. Like, we've failed in some way if we don't feel bright and happy and outward and sociable 100% of the time. So when I was in my early 20s, I um, suffered from depression and I was prescribed Prozac, which is an antidepressant drug. And intuitively, I sensed this wasn't for me. You know, I took it for a week, I felt disconnected, I felt numb, and my intuition said, no, this is a Band-Aid, that if you're going to solve this and feel better without medication, you need to take the Band-Aid off and address the underlying issues. But I just didn't know how, I didn't know where to start. So like a lot of people, I felt powerless and I felt lost. So my way, my, you know, self-coping mechanism was to retreat, you know, like an animal that hides and licks its wounds. And I hid from the world. And I became immobilized, paralyzed by fear. The fear was because I, tra I lacked trust in myself to make choices for fear of those choices being wrong or bad and me ending up being hurt. And that was because I was carrying so much unprocessed pain from my past. So how did I shift it? Well, at 26, I discovered ancient women's wisdom and practices that helped me to literally make sense of the dark, the dark times, the dark mental states, the darker emotional states. And I discovered that depression is part of being human because we feel every single color on the spectrum of emotion that's part of being fully alive so we simply need tools to help us to process those darker emotions so that we move through them organically rather than stay stuck in them. You know, depression is when we don't want to feel something. We don't want to feel rage. We don't want to feel grief. So we suppress it. We depress it and we become stuck, stagnant, gray, because what does energy want to do? It wants to move. Okay, we have to express those darker states in order to then be freed and, and move into the opposite polarity, into a, a lighter state. But most people don't know how to do that. They don't 
we're not, you know, um, taught that in school. And it's essential that we learn to do it because we can't avoid experiencing the darkness within. We can't avoid confronting our greatest fears and sometimes feeling completely out of control, doubting ourselves, fearing the absolute worst. When trust is broken and we just feel hurt or when we endure mistakes and misfortune and feel utter despair. These are normal human responses to extreme uh, stimuli. And it is inevitable that life will trigger us into downward spirals. Why? Because life is cyclic. Everything in the universe journeys in cycles. The elements, the planets, the seasons, and us. The ebb and flow of the natural cycles spirals us up and spirals us down. Ancient women's wisdom helps us to navigate those downward spiral descents. It offers us three paths to wisdom, to self-understanding and empowerment. And here we see one of the most prevalent ancient symbols of the sacred feminine. This has been found at Paleolithic sites, so 30,000 years ago. And they've seen this uh, same image from as far from, you know, Ireland at Newgrange to Australian Aboriginal caves. This is universal. It represents the three paths of initiation to know thyself in the ancient goddess tradition. And that's what I teach. So... I don't know if you know this, but depression affects women statistically more than men. So in addition to these sort of life factors that men also experience, which can put them into a downward spiral, like the end of a relationship or grieving the loss of a loved one, the loss of a job, relocation to a new city where you don't know anybody or illness or injury. Okay, so these are the triggers that both men and women can experience as a catalyst, which puts us into a downward trajectory. But studies show there are then these additional factors which can catalyze depression in women, such as women are often caregivers, we have higher levels of sensitivity, we have hormonal fluctuations, and we often have an ancestral inheritance of depression. Now I'm going to break them down. So caregivers, often mothers and those that are in positions of looking after, you know, the elderly or the very young, um, or those that have physical ailments will suppress their own feelings in order to be fully available to others. So this ends up with them often negating their own needs. And so they end up with a backlog of unprocessed, unexpressed emotions and thoughts. And caregiving is not culturally honoured and valued in our culture. So it's not afforded the, the support that it needs. So caregivers aren't, there's not things in place um, to allow appropriate debriefing and time off so that they don't experience burnout. And when people are energetically exhausted, it's much easier to go into a downward emotional and mental spiral. Not only that, caregivers are often isolated, okay? So stuck at home with young children for long hours while a partner is away, you know, earning, um, this isolates them, which doesn't help. So then sensitivity. Yes, women are more sensitive uh, per capita. 
because we're more empathic. In other words, we tend to feel what other people are feeling to the point where we can take it on and we don't even realize we've taken it on. So then we accumulate all of this emotional, um, you know, sort of fallout from the people that we've been with. We can be more susceptible to the energy of an environment. So if we're in, you know, a place that is filled with stress, you know, a workplace environment, or there's unresolved tension, you know, um, in a relationship, in your home environment, or even things like mildew and rising damp, you know, uh, a, a place that is aesthetically an, eye, an eyesore, you know, it's, it's depressing to be in, you know, it doesn't have natural light. Uh, women are far more susceptible to that affecting their mental and emotional states. Plus, women don't receive training to manage their sensitivities, their subtle senses. And we tend to take things personally and internalise them rather than blaming others and outwardly attacking others. So when we internalise everything, guess what? It implodes rather than explodes. So then there's hormones. Now, the amount of hormonal fluctuation that we go through in a lunar month really impacts our moods and our energy levels. So as we spiral down into menstruation, we become more and more sensitive, more easily triggered emotionally and mentally. And we need more headspace in order to, you know, be able to deal with things. Now, culturally, premenstrual tension or premenstrual syndrome is mocked, okay? It's not something that is given its due. There's also the hormonal transitions we experience between our life stages, okay? So, for instance, when girls start menstruating, their hormones are all over the place. And... Um, you know, they're given the talk about, you know, needing to, um, you know, use tampons and, and pads, but they're not told how that's going to affect their emotional equilibrium. Similarly, when women are pregnant, they experience the same amount of hormonal activity in one day that a non-pregnant woman does in three years. So that is 36 times PMT in one day. Okay. <laughs> so is it any wonder that pregnant women are like a roller coaster emotionally and mentally? No, there's good reason for it. Not only that, there isn't any preparation for the increased highs and lows that happen when we become fertile. And then there's our ancestral inheritance. The feminine has been oppressed for 5,000 years, okay? That's since, you know, the rise of the empires stamped out the feminine way of doing things, feminine values. So this isn't about men and women. This is about, um, you know, the values of the feminine, which is reflection, which is... Um, you know, spirituality, which is um, processing things by doing personal growth work, art. All of these things have not been valued for 5,000 years en masse. The impact of that has been handed down through our maternal lineages into our cellular memory. So not only do we have the DNA, but we have the conditioning of our maternal line. So we have the modelling that our own mother and our own grandmother gave to us, imprinting upon us. And then the collective consciousness. Okay, so, you know, the, um, the collective um, hysteria, yeah, the unexpressed stress of the feminine that doesn't get equal pay that 
does do 90% of the child rearing, that does do 90% of the housework and so on. But then there's these other lesser known factors. The loss of innocence that we experience in a predatory culture. So what I mean by that is in our teens and our 20s, we will make our biggest mistakes because we have the least about amount of experiential wisdom to draw upon. So in other words, the first time our heart is broken, the first time someone takes advantage of us, these can be triggers for spiraling into depression, feeling, you know, that the world's not a safe place. Then there's the lack of support that women have for their different life transitions, whether that's divorce, whether that's uh, the empty nest syndrome when kids leave and go, you know, to college or leave home, um, or going to um, going through pregnancy. Okay, um, each one of these transitions requires a lot of mentoring for us to psychologically make the shift and we don't get that so without that we're isolated and more prone to depression and then there's the lack of mentoring we get on how the natural cycles affect us so i'm talking about the lunar cycle the solar cycle and the earth seasonal cycle these all affect our energy levels our moods and our mental states. And in an indigenous culture, you get taught all of that. But in our modern day culture, we've lost all of these, um, you know, sacred customs and sacred knowledge. And then finally, the lack of understanding we have about the feminine. So we don't, if we don't understand something, we can't honor it. Okay. We can't meet our authentic feminine needs. So ancient feminine practices teach us the effect that the natural cycles have on our psyche. In other words, how to caretake ourselves through the times when the energy is at its lowest, whether that's winter or dark moon. And how embracing the ebb and flow of this natural continuous energy of the natural cycles, when we embrace it, it helps us to feel more balanced. And this is the info every woman needs access to, to manage her well-being. This is your birthright. Would you like to know the number one thing you can do to balance your emotional and your mental well-being? Learn to live in alignment with the lunar cycle. That's the fastest thing you can do to empower your womanhood. Why? The feminine is governed by the moon. The masculine is governed by the sun. So for us, first and foremost, if we've incarnated into a female body, we need to align ourselves with the moon because the moon fluctuates and so do our moods and our energy levels along with those lunar phases. In the two weeks when the moon is waxing, as you can see illustrated on the screen, up to full, our mood and our energy levels increase. And then in the two weeks from full moon waning down to the new moon, is when our mood and our energy levels decrease. The most challenging time of the month for all women is when the moon is at her lowest ebb. This phase is called dark moon. It's the three day window over the new moon, which is two weeks after full moon. This is when women are most at risk mentally and emotionally. It's when women are more prone to yell at their kids, to abuse substances, to comfort eat, to have meltdowns, breakdowns. So women in the ancient world developed a practice to maintain their well-being during that darkest phase. 
So instead of avoiding the dark, running from the dark, which eventually catches up with you, they looked at what was surfacing in their psyche and embraced it. So they became whole, balanced, integrating the light and the dark in a cyclic way. This practice is called the 13 moons. It helps women heal the darkness within themselves through the light of understanding and self-awareness. The 13 moons provides insight during the darkest lunar phase by identifying the lessons of the zodiac sign that the dark moon falls in each month. So, for instance, we start the wheel in Aries. That's when we begin this journey because Aries is the first sign, the beginning of the astrological mandala. It's the sign of the child, of new beginnings. So that's where we start our journey. And then each month we meet a different aspect of ourselves. Now, whilst you might be a Taurus or a Scorpio, that's all well and good. But ideally, we embody the strengths of all the signs and own the shadow traits, the unconscious aspects of all the signs, and they surface for us to see them in ourselves at dark moon. So this is a practice to own the shadow, to become whole, to become wise. And when we own the shadow within ourselves, we don't project it on others. So we have less conflict and more harmonious relationships with everybody, not just an intimate partner, but children, friends, work colleagues, neighbours. So gaining insight into what the hallmarks are of the sign that the dark moon is in that month, understanding the terrain, how we're going to be triggered. These insights light up the neural pathways within our labyrinth mind. Okay, the mind, if you were to look at it, it looks like a labyrinth. And so when we get aha moments, when we get, you know, lit up by, oh, I see it, I get it, they run literally light at the speed of light through the neural pathways of our minds. So instead of using prescription drugs to light up our brain chemistry, we're doing it naturally. So we can then find our way out of that spiral labyrinth deep within and not remain stuck in the bottom of the well in the dark, lost in a maze. Then we emerge victorious as heroines who are self-possessed, self-assured, who know themselves. And we can light the way for others. This understanding also helps us to better caretake our needs because we know by understanding the energy, not just at dark moon, but then that's going to play out for the whole lunar month, what the lessons are and what it is we need to feel fulfilled. So I'd love to share with you the 13 moons online program that I've created to support women through that hardest time of the month. So if that's okay with you, I'll tell you a bit about it. First of all, you can do it in the comfort of your own home. And that's because it's all um, online. So you simply log in when it suits you. And each month you will receive a video tutorial explaining the ways that you're likely to be triggered for that particular dark moon because of the sign that it's in. You will gain insights to identify the specific lessons that are being presented for you to master at that dark moon. So you can pierce the darkness of confusion with clarity and awareness and then grow your own wisdom and empowerment. You'll also receive practical strategies and processes 
that help you to embody the strengths of each sign as we journey around the zodiac over 13 months. You'll also receive in the mail my Light and Shadow Oracle deck. And we use this as a tool for journaling, okay? Because basically your subconscious uh, pulls the shadow traits that you most need to look at, which your rational mind may have no idea about. But, you know, by using Oracle, we can't argue with what it is the subconscious has pulled and asked us to have a look at okay so then we have to journal okay why am i not seeing this in myself and often these are the traits that we judge most harshly in others so this helps us identify our own disowned traits these are the things that sabotage us um, the sort of patterns of behavior that we're not even aware that we're doing You'll also receive a guided meditation to do every month so that you can heal the issues that are coming up to be healed. And you'll get practical suggestions to process and resolve your past experiences. And you have lifetime access to all the course materials so you can refer back again and again. You can do this, you know, each year if you wish. And you get exclusive membership to our private online forum. So again, you have lifetime access to that. Um, and what's so lovely about it is you can share this journey with women from around the world, okay? All backgrounds, all ages, and have that support with an online sisterhood of people sharing what's coming up for them um, and having that support at the click of a button. There's no assignments, no assessments, no deadlines, no time-specific webinars, no pressure, no stress. The benefits that you will gain is increased self-awareness and empowerment, greater self-acceptance and compassion, identification of self-sabotaging patterns, more self-care and increased well-being and balance, reduce stress and balanced emotions and acceleration of your own wisdom and intuition. And I'll be your guide to help navigate you through the dark times for the next 13 months. Now, to date, I've had people in 42 countries around the world love my online training courses. So here's the value that is included in this one. There is 13 monthly modules, each one valued at $49, and also the Light and Shadow Oracle deck, which we ship to you. That includes free international shipping. So that's not even included in these prices, okay? Um, and lifetime access to the forum. So the total value, not including the international shipping, is $1,093, but this course is only $129.87. So you can see that is, you know, ridiculous, really. But I want this to be an accessible tool for women. So you've got two payment options. You can pay up front and you get $30 off, okay? So that's $1,093 and you pay less than 10%. So it's $99. Or if you want to pay it as you go, $9.99 a month, okay? So I am offering a special discount, um, oh, not a discount, but a gift for those of you that are here at the live webinar. So thanks for tuning in live. And that is you will get my seven day Cosmic Goddess program free if you sign up in the next 24 hours. Now that's valued at $24.99. And what it does is it helps you to align with each of the seven planets that govern the seven days of the week. So this is what you receive in that additional program. You will get seven daily practical tips to optimize your day so that you're aligning with the energy of that day. Seven daily video meditations seven daily journal um, self-reflection activities 
and interesting facts about each planet, including its symbol, the archetype that it evokes in us, and there's, there's more. So I'm sure you'll enjoy that as an additional program. You can start at any time. And the live attendees, um, if you would like that free gift, we'll um, enter a promo code in just a minute at the end of the webinar into the chat. So all you need to do is put that promo code in at the checkout when you register for the 13 Moons program and then you'll automatically be sent the Cosmic Goddess program as well as access to the 13 Moons program when we start. So the total package, including the Cosmic Goddess, is valued at $1,117.99. It's going for $99. So that's if you do one-off payment and you get the $30 discount on top of the free gift. So please note that whilst the payments are listed in US money, um, currency, it will automatically convert to your local currency at the checkout. We won't be accepting late registration. So if you don't register before the next start date, which is March 28, then I'm sorry we can't take any late registrations because we're journeying with the natural cycle. So it's important that you start the journey at the new moon um, in Aries, the first sign. So yeah, if you miss the start date, if you're watching this perhaps as a recording and you've missed the start date, don't worry, you can go to the course page um, via the link that you see displayed below and enter your details for um, the next intake. So we'll let you know in 2018 when it's happening so you can um, register if you wish. So I'd like to invite you to register for that program now, the 13 moons. Um, as I said, we'll be putting in the chat for the live attendees the link so that you can register for the course and uh, the promo code. If you're watching this because you registered for the live webinar but you couldn't make it to the live webinar, the link will be in your email. Okay, so um, just click that link and you can register before March 28 for the 13 Moons course. If you're watching this because a friend has shared it with you, um, and you're just watching the recording, ask them for the link, or if it's on a post, just look below for the link. So that's everything. I'll just stop sharing my screen. So, um, oh, great. Ali, you've put the links there for everybody, and I'll just put the promo code in for our live attendees. Oops, there it is. Oh, that's just gone to Ali. Ali, could you make that visible to everyone, please, love? And I'd like to just ask, has anybody got any quick questions upon hearing and listening and watching all that? You'll need to just unmute your microphone which is you'll find in the menu bar down the bottom left of your screen. So just click the microphone if you'd like to ask me a question or if you're feeling a bit shy, you can put it into the chat. There is a question. Ah, here's a question. Thanks, it's from Katie. Tanishka, does that mean that every year the moon falls into the same sign in the same month? Yes, it does. So um, we're coming up to the new moon in Aries. It won't always be on the exact same date, okay, but it will be in the same month. And what happens at new moon is both the sun and moon are in the same sign. So it really intensifies and amplifies the lesson of that sign. And you won't just see it come up in yourself, you'll see it come up in everybody. So to have the insight into what the strengths and the shadow traits and the lessons are of that sign, 
really helps you minimize conflict and um yeah just makes life a heck of a lot easier <laughs> and you know not take things on uh thanks hun also the seven day planet okay cosmic goddess program does that mean every day of the week has the same planet too yes it does so monday is ruled by the moon where we get the name moon day monday um so they're named after the norse gods and i um speak about that in the program great questions i agree thanks ali all right thanks katie i appreciate you asking that i'm sure others are grateful for you daring to speak up has anyone else got any questions they wanted to ask of me no don't be shy oh you're welcome katie no okay well, um, oh, great. Ali's posted the promo code there for you all. So um, the link is there. You click on the link for the 13 Moons Path of Wisdom and just don't forget to enter that promo code at the checkout. Sophie has asked, how much time will the course take on average? That's a great question. Well, goodness, the videos, there's probably about, half an hour's worth of, you know, like uh, two 15-minute videos. Um, and then there's journal uh, exercises that I encourage you to do. Um, but it's recommended you do them over the three days of the dark moon. So it doesn't have to be exact on the, on the new moon. You can do it at any stage over those three days of the dark moon that, that you know suits you and your schedule and your lifestyle so um, it's not a huge commitment even though 13 months might sound very daunting um, it's just a check-in process with yourself grabbing some insight you know being able to sort of kick back at the end of the day and um, you know watch those videos or you can you know do the the meditation in the bath um, and then do the journal process with the with the cards. So, goodness, I would say all up probably an hour to ninety minutes of your time each dark moon. So, hopefully, that's something you can work in with your life. Um, hi, Yulia. Okay, great. You're welcome, Sophie. Has anybody else got any questions they'd like to ask before we wrap up? Hi, Tanishka. When you say you're online each month, I'm not sure what the question is. Does that mean in the forum? Okay, good question. Look, I'm, I'm not there, um, you know, as a sort of counsellor uh, role answering everybody's questions uh, in the forum. The forum is more there as a community of, of fellowship for participants but I will stick my head in uh, every once in a while and um, just yeah see how everybody's going so it's very much a process about um, you know using the tools and going within looking within accessing your intuition uh, rather than becoming dependent on a counsellor or a teacher or a guru, you know. Um, and this is the way of the feminine. It's to activate that inner teacher, that inner guru, which means teacher within ourselves. The 13 um, moons path, priestess path, is the spiral descent journey of the crone. Now, the word crone originally meant crown, one who is crowned with wisdom. So it's not just that elder women would do this um, because if we do all three spiral paths, there's one for the maiden, one for the mother and one for the crone, then we become balanced. We embody the triple phase goddess. So we don't fear aging, okay, because we're embodying the strengths of the maiden, the mother, and the crone. And we are also self-aware of the shadow traits of those three phases. So this one is the spiral path that aligns with the lunar 
which is the most inward, the most deep, the most feminine. And that's why we do it at the most deep inward feminine time of the cycle. So it's about developing your own inner wisdom. I hope that answers your question, Alexandra. You're welcome, Julia. Thank you for being here live. Uh, Julia says, I'm very excited to take this journey through the coming dark moons. Thank you for creating the program. Thank you. Look, I just, I wish it had been there for me. You know what I mean? So we're all the one. So, you know, you will then utilize this and it will transform um, and accelerate your own wisdom so that you become a way shower for others that are in the dark. So uh, Alexandra says, yes, thank you. Great. So obviously the dark moon phases are the most important in our learning. Look, I, I don't think that we can necessarily compare the three spiral pathways of initiation in the, you know, the priestess tradition. They're all equal, but different. Okay. So this is certainly the deepest journey. I call the women that are called to this path, the daughters of Hecate, um, who is the Greek name for the archetypal wise woman. Often the women that feel very called to do this path, because we don't have to do it in order. We don't have to do the maiden path, then the mother path, then the crone path. But the ones that feel drawn to this path are often those that had a loss of innocence quite early. Those that have really done their time in the underworld that have had some huge lessons. And as a result, they're here to transmute those past painful experiences into wisdom because that's something that they've done in many incarnations. And so they are here to be wisdom keepers, to be oracles, to be those that help light the way for others. So, um, yeah, I'm, I look forward to journeying this with those of you that feel called in your heart to do it. Um, and I would just speak to that and say, you know, there's so much on offer these days that it can become overwhelming. So make this decision from the heart, okay, from your intuition which is your knowing okay if you feel called to do this absolutely don't go into the mind okay if you're not sure don't do it okay you will know if you're meant to do this because your inner self will just go yes <laughs> okay so don't don't make it hard for yourself don't go into over analysis paralysis because that's just the mind that's slipping down into the lower mental, the, the solar plexus. Lisa says, I was late to the webinar, unfortunately, but I'm definitely interested in learning the 13 moons with you, Tanishka, to help my current knowledge from your Red Tent course. Bless you, Lisa. Look, you will be sent the link. Those of you that have registered for this webinar, you will be sent the link to the video recording. So if you did arrive late, don't worry. You will be able to watch the whole thing. But I um, would recommend that you watch it, you know, over this weekend because we can't take enrolments past the 28th. That's the day we start. And if you're not in, then I'm sorry, you'll have to wait till 2018. So um, Katie has just asked, um, Ali, if you could post the link again. Let's, I might be able to do that. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I can't. So I'm just posting in the chat the link. Oh, it still says to you, everyone, there we go. So there is the link to register for the course. And again, I'll just put in that promo code. Don't forget to put this in at the checkout if you were here live so that you get that Cosmic Goddess seven day program for free. Belinda, hi. She says, thank you, dear Tanishkin. You are the beacon. Wow, on a good day. Um, showing us to express our true selves through re reawakening our power embedded in love, not fear. Well, you know, goodness gracious. 
I um, thanks for seeing me that way, Belinda. Yes, I am. I do own my gift of insight, um, but yes, I'm. I'm just like everybody. I will be journeying this with you, and I will be looking at my crap alongside you. <laughs> Because it's never ending, okay? We never graduate, so to speak. It does get, um, the burdens get lighter though as we spiral. Because the difference is we're not just going round in circles like Groundhog Day. The more awareness we get, the more we transcend that into a, a, a trajectory of an upward spiral. And the good news is when you do willingly take a descent journey like the priestesses used to do you return afterwards literally glowing with light because you've uncovered more light healed more of the unconscious shadow parts of yourself and that attracts people to you so if you work as a healer or you know in the holistic industry um, this will shift your resonance and people will you know be attracted to that Okay. Oh, goodness. Right. So do take note. If you have trouble with the um, entering the promo code, Ali's just made the note um, to use a lowercase. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Any more questions from anybody? No? All right, then. Well, have a beautiful weekend. And take care we are coming down into that lowest ebb so be kind be gentle allow yourself to be soft as the irish say um uh jen is just jen is my um administrator for all the courses and she says she's just double checked um it will work. Okay. Oh, okay. I understand. Jen has road tested it. So you absolutely will get the seven day cosmic goddess automatically when you register in the next 24 hours for the 13 moons. Um, if you've already registered for the 13 moons and you thought, Hey, I'd like to check out the free webinar, then please send us an email and we'll make sure that you still get your free gift. All right. Um, and if you um, have already paid to do the Cosmic Goddess program, we'll give you a gift to the same value. All right. Well, I might wrap it up. Katie says, thanks kindly. All done. Oh, you've done it already. Cool. Awesome. Um, thanks for your time and knowledge. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Well, have a lovely weekend. And I look forward to meeting those of you in the forum that feel called to do this spiral journey with me. Blessings. Thanks, Ali. Thanks, Jim. All right. There we go. Leave meeting. Ciao.